All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to my December 2018 update video for, you guessed it, December 2018. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm going to go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So let's just jump right into it. And yes, I am rocking the old uh, webcam mic combo. Uh, I tried recording on my usual setup, but I've done so many freaking retakes of this vlog that my camera overheated. So that is what it is. So deal. But in any event, um, let's get into some YouTube stuff. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about for this month um, other than the usual, um, I can't make videos because I'm too busy making videos. Brr. So yeah, guys, I've um, been pretty busy working on freelance projects as well as uh, selling some stuff on eBay, which we'll get into in the personal life section. Um, also, been on the hunt for an IRL job so that's been taking a lot of my time away from making videos so kind of is what it is but uh, I do have some ideas for uh, video editing tutorials as well as uh, new episodes of Andy Before Japandi so be on the lookout for those coming soon and the last thing I want to talk to you guys about as far as YouTube stuff goes is where are my classic old videos at and right now I'm working on a solution for those old videos. Um, it's not 100% ready yet, so I don't want to make a big announcement as far as that goes. So, but just know that I am working on a solution for it, and uh, once it's done, I'll make an announcement video for it so you guys will know. But it is coming soon. In any event, um, let's move on to the personal life stuff. Um, as you guys know, I've been really busy with freelance video editing projects trying to find an IRL job, as well as selling stuff on eBay. So the reason for selling a lot of my stuff, in fact, most of my stuff on eBay is for several reasons. Um, one is to obviously save up money, uh, money that's gonna be used for living expenses as well as saving up to move back to Japan. And also to um, minimize the amount of stuff that I have. Got a lot of my stuff on eBay right now, I've sold a lot of it already um, and I'm gonna continue to put more stuff up there man so feeling pretty good about it I am getting rid of a lot of stuff that I've had for a while and you know some of it I haven't used in you know years and others have been really useful to me over over these past couple years but uh, time for things to uh, to go you know out the old in with the new you know put some money away to help save up for Japan, which is the ultimate goal really. Like, is having the stuff that I have right now more important than going back out to Japan? Not really. <laughs> so, uh, but in addition to saving up for Japan, I'm also gonna be saving up to make some replacements as well. So the big, uh, big ticket item I'm gonna be saving up for is a new laptop. So yes, I am gonna be going back to laptops. I love my desktop. I love the old chill box. It served me well these past couple years. But again, it's uh, big and it's really hard to, uh, to carry in a backpack. So uh, I just think it'd be much easier for me uh, moving wise, especially since I'm going back out to Japan to uh, invest in a laptop now. So I've got my eye on a couple different types of laptops um, for my needs. You know, once I got the money, save up, buy one, sell the old chill box, sell my desktop custom-built PC that I made myself. So in addition to that, let's get into uh, why I haven't really been making uh, a lot of videos as of late. In addition to all the stuff that I already talked about, um, it is the winter time, which you know isn't a good series of months for me uh, as far as depression and stuff like that goes. I've um, been having some bouts with it here and there, especially with holidays and my birthday, which I celebrated this past Friday, uh, turned 33, so that's fun, I guess. I don't know. Birthdays aren't really the same when you get older, uh, but thankfully, as far as depression goes, uh, for this year, it hasn't been as bad as other years. Other years, it's just been terrible. You know, I've had whole months where I feel like a complete piece of shit and can't do anything. You know, this month I've had like little cycles, like some days I feel like that and then others I feel fine. Like today, I feel fine, you know? 
made a commitment to myself to no longer have what I call zero days. And what a zero day is, is basically where you do like nothing to progress towards your goal. So for me, as long as I'm working towards my goal, um, I feel happy. You know, when I'm making some progress towards my goal, I feel happy. So that's why, you know, editing a video for somebody or selling something on eBay and getting a paper done or whatever the case, it's all, all little pieces to reaching that goal. And that's what ultimately makes me feel happy. Um, so enough boring emo frastical Andy, let's get into some happier stuff. Uh, the return to Japan. As you guys know, I'm going to be returning to Japan next year to study abroad in Tokyo. And thankfully I still have the GI Bill, so I'm able to do that. But I do have to pay for my way there, as well as living expenses until it kicks in, which usually ideally is about a month after you started. So I have to have some money saved up for living expenses until GI Bill kicks in. And, you know, I'm talking with my friends out there as far as living situation and things like that goes. And I think I got one lined up that uh, works out pretty well for me. The main thing that I'm saving up for now is the application fee, not only for the school, but also for the visa. So there's, you know, the combination visa and school application. So that's uh, for the school I'm going to be going to. It's going to be about 60,000 yen, so it translates to about $550 USD. Gotta get that saved up, submit my application before the end of January. That's the, uh, the big deadline for that, uh, for the semester I wanna go to. Once that's all submitted, once I hear back from them, you know, if I've been accepted or not, which I do have a good chance of being accepted, but there is always, there's always that chance. But once, you know, the application comes back and I've been accepted, then I can uh, move on to the next stage, which is saving up for uh, going out to Japan. But I don't have to wait for the acceptance to save up for that, because I am going to be devoting pretty much all my money and stuff, aside from living expenses, to saving up for Japan. Living in Japan has been one of my lifelong goals, and I'm glad that I realized that back in 2013, up to 2015 when I came back to the States. But since I've been back in the States, man, I just, I feel like I haven't really been myself. You know, like I felt like when I was out in Japan, I was like 100% myself. You know, I felt like I didn't have to worry about what other people thought of me. I, I didn't really feel as self-conscious as I do here in the States. You know, had I known about the GI Bill being applicable to overseas schools, um, I would have applied uh, to like Temple or something. You know, you live and learn. Kinda is what it is, you know, just forgive yourself for the mistakes that you made in life and uh, learn from them. So I feel confident in my return to Japan. I just feel like, you know, right now there's just nothing for me here in America long term. And there's just like more stuff to do out there, you know, like, <laughs> you know, in, J in Tokyo or just in Japan in general, it doesn't have to be Tokyo specifically, but I just felt like I was never really bored. It was all just kind of a matter of how much energy I had that day to be able to go out and do stuff, whether it's something as simple as just going out for a walk, going out for a bike ride, going on the train to a random stop, getting off and just walking around. So that said, guys, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.